Uh, thank you so much for joining me today, Ariel. Uh, so you're one of our CNCF ambassadors and you helped me out by moderating some of my webinars for the CNCF webinar series, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, can you start off by just introducing yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Ariel Jatib. I'm one of the founders of a company called Stackpoint Cloud. Make it really easy to uh, deploy and manage uh, Kubernetes clusters and other cloud native uh, technologies. Very cool. Um, so how did you get started in cloud native? Yeah, so we predate the CNCF a little bit. Uh, as Kubernetes was coming out of Google, we started organizing a couple of different meetups around the country, uh, including the New York one where I'm based out of. Very neat. Um, so in your experience, what is the biggest challenge for adopting and scaling cloud native applications right now? Yeah, it, a lot of it has been education focused, right? And that's uh, been one of the central roles for the meetups is uh, there's a lot of emergent uh, kind of projects and technologies that are associated with the cloud native movement. And the uh, meetups are a great place to go uh, and learn about how to implement and leverage these technologies in, uh, in, in end user environments. So why did you want to be a CNCF ambassador? Yeah, uh, so early on, uh, as we started organizing these meetups, we connected with organizers in other uh, cities. And one of the things I did as a uh, having a background in design is uh, it was fun designing logos for all these other local meetups. And so when the CNCF Ambassadors program was put together, that felt like a natural extension as a lot of those people participate in the program. That's so cool. That's really neat. Um, so what is the most revealing DevOps or cloud native stat that you've heard recently and why? I think uh, actually the growth of the KubeCon, uh, yes. that has been <laughs> like amazing. Uh, uh, I don't, I, I was in uh, Austin uh, late last year and I don't think any of us expected to have higher turnout here this year uh, in, in Copenhagen than we had just a few months ago. Yeah, that graph was incredible. Yes. Um, and the fact that it's still growing conference after conference, we were placing bets on how big Seattle's going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your bet? Uh, well, we heard six or 7,000, I think. I'm going to um, go with eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with, with 10 to 20. The price is right. <laughs> um, all right. So we've been talking a lot about kind of, um, I guess both of us have some type of background in film, um, which kind of ruins you for watching movies and having a critical eye for them. Um, what's your, I know Atomic Blonde yes. is one of the movies we're talking about. What is your favorite song from the Ooh, movie? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, I'm gonna go with the one that's resonated most with my seven-year-old, almost seven-year-old, <laughs> and that's their commissioner, The Seven Inch Mix. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Got to please the kids. Got to please the kids. Yep. And it's great when the you can see those kinds of things with them early on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I also just learned that you're on a basketball team. Yes, I still play basketball. So it's not necessarily a team. It is a pickup game that's been running for about 50 years, multi-generational. We have folks approaching 70 years old. We run full court uh, and uh, we have people as young as 16, 17 who are, uh, they're, Dads also play in the game. Uh, we play twice a week on the weekends, really early, uh, and it's been like such a gift to connect with people in that yeah. way. That sounds awesome. Yeah. It sounds like something I need to try out. So. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much for yeah. joining us today. Um, really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks.